Oh my god, Trump is the most easily baitable person in the world. He just held a rally in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and essentially had a meltdown on stage only one day after VP Harris called him out on Stephen Colbert. She also called him out on Howard Stern, and he bit. He responded to the troll like he does every single time. We have 26 days to go and no time to waste. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and honestly, let's jump right in with this clip of Donald Trump rambling about McDonald's. He says she works like a dog in McDonald's. Donald's. I mean, he doesn't even know what dogs do. I don't. Lies about everything, including where she worked. Remember, I worked so hard at McDonald's it was unbelievable. I stood over the French fries all summer, winter, fall, spring. I was. She never worked there. She lied. You know the beauty of that? They'll say, "Oh, it's so terrible to bring that up. It's so simple." No, David. The beauty of that? It's so simple. It's so easy to understand. She said she worked like a dog in McDonald's, and it never happened. She didn't work there. This man is losing his mind. He is so clearly triggered. Also, don't you guys get the vibe that he's undermining service workers, undermining people who are working at McDonald's in this clip? He's sarcastically saying, oh, she works so hard next to the fries. Yeah, people work all day on their feet, whether they're working at McDonald's or in a restaurant. It's not easy. Of course, Trump would know nothing about that. And I just want to point out the broader theme throughout this video is that Trump gets on stage, doesn't propose any policies, doesn't understand stand anything around him has concepts of plans but he relies on the hate of the crowd the entire time this is a common theme in the trump world he'll not understand what tariffs are but he'll blame it on immigration so that makes it okay and throughout all of this he uses this instinctually authoritarian rhetoric he wants to strip away every single norm that exists in america and that is what these speeches are there to do in this clip for example he says that they're gonna have to pay for it they're gonna have to pay hundreds of billions of dollars and tariffs, not understanding that China doesn't pay when you place tariffs, middle class Americans pay. Men, and they're going to have products, and they're stealing from us because they're taking our jobs, they're taking our companies, they're taking our wealth, and that's fine because they have to compete too, but now they're going to have to pay for it. And they'll have to pay, and they'll pay hundreds of billions of dollars in pretty stiff tariffs. But that is not how it works. That's not how it works at all. Essentially, what a tariff is meant to do is disincentivize a country from engaging in some sort of action. That is generally what they are meant to do. And you do that by making their imports more expensive for American consumers. Therefore, Americans buy less of that product and punish that foreign country or that company that exists in that country. Donald Trump doesn't understand that and he thinks that China will be paying. But let's get on to the fun part of the video. Now, in this clip, Kamala Harris is on Howard Stern and she's talking about gang members and sex trafficking. She's not calling out Donald Trump yet, unless he's a sex trafficking gang member, but she is talking about how she would deal with these issues, and then later on, she calls out Trump. So when you went after gang members, I'm talking about uh, people who traffic, who traffic drugs yeah. and this and that kind of thing. Were you ever directly threatened by these people? They said, hey, you better just shut this down or you're, or you're going to get it? I've definitely had death threats. Yeah. Yeah, I don't generally talk about them, but right. yes. Why don't you talk about them? Because you don't want to encourage any kind of nuts out there, or is it because it just is too? It's just too hard to confront. I refuse to live in fear <laughs> of, of of the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, well, it's very brave. I I just I'm not gonna I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Those are some interesting questions from Howard Stern, to be honest. And it also reveals why Kamala wasn't scared to stare at Trump like he's the perp that he is. This reply is really funny. It reads, Kamala Harris is what Donald Trump is afraid of the most. A black woman with a law degree who is smarter than he's ever been, works harder than he ever has, and is better looking than he will ever will be. That is a great, great point. Now I want to play this clip of Trump slowly deteriorating on stage, calling VP Harris a horrible person. Then I'll show you when Harris baited him on stage horrible person we think you're a liar and we right we think you're a liar we think you're not a smart person and we're tired of having stupid people run our country oh no a group of trump supporters doesn't think vp harris is smart how will she ever recover from that and we're gonna say Kamala, you're fired. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. You know the reason he's saying that is because he's still mad that VP Harris said Donald Trump, 82 million people fired you. Get the hell out.
the most unpatriotic people in the country chanting USA. Now, I want to play this clip of Kamala on Stephen Colbert and then play you Trump's reaction. But first, let me show you the reception she got on The View because it is quite something. And that also lays the groundwork because Trump does mention The View. Welcome back. The next welcome back. Please welcome back. The next president of the United States. Alright, so I can't play the Stephen Colbert clip because I will get my channel taken down, but I do want to play you this clip of Kamala on The View. This is the one that triggered Trump. Prefers to run on problems instead of fixing problems. He's not solution oriented. And again, I will invite people, if you really need to know how he thinks since he doesn't do these kinds of interviews, watch his rallies. Mm -hmm. yeah. He spends full time engaged in grievance about what has happened to him. Right. Mm -hmm. He true. spends full time perpetuating lies and misinformation. He spends full time talking about fictional characters. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I name mean... Calling. A lot of name and calling. And name calling and yeah. demeaning people, belittling people, but what he does not talk about is you. Yep. He does not talk about what you need. He does not talk about what your parents need, what your children's need. That's not what he talks about. He doesn't talk about your child's needs. He talks about his needs. Right. Kamala has been doing a bunch of interviews lately, a bunch of interviews over the past few weeks, and she's been killing every single one consistently. I'm incredibly impressed. We need to keep getting her out there, keep getting Tim Walls out there. Now here is a clip of Kamala Harris eviscerating Trump on Howard Stern. Then I will play the clip of Trump melting down and reacting to this. In this clip, Kamala talks about Project 2025 in front of an audience of millions. Check this like out. Like I announced today. What my plan to make sure that Medicare covers at home elder care because probably a lot of your listeners are in that sandwich generation. Oh my God. Where they're taking care of young kids and their elder parents. My mother's 97 years old. I'm, I'm not even going to tell you how old I am. I know you think I'm 30, but I am so old and I have an old mother, 97 mm -hmm. years old. The cost is people don't know this yet. If they're not taking care of somebody elderly, it will bankrupt you. Absolutely. It will be, right. you, you or got, your yep. parent will not get the care they need, or you're going to have to leave your job. Right. Which means you're going to reduce your income to, depending on what it is, almost nothing it, in terms of your household income to do what you want to do, which is to give your parent the dignity they deserve with care. And can you imagine if Medicare is uh, impacted? Or, or Obamacare, for that matter. I and mean, look what at what thinking? Donald Trump has been talking about for years. And look at his yep. project, 2025. People should Google it. I mean, what they're doing and what he's talking about in terms of attacking Social Security, Medicare, undoing the Affordable Care Act, and which means the insurance companies can come back and deny people with pre-existing conditions. All of this is very real and very much at stake in this election. Egg, exactly. Frenchie in the reply says, thank you for not just having, quote, concepts of a plan like the other loser. I speak for all Americans when I say that. Now we have Donald Trump melting down while talking about The View and Howard Stern while referencing Kamala Harris's recent interviews because we know that he consumes a lot of media. He is an ardent consumer of pop culture and media. We know that he hates Jimmy Fallon, but he still watches Jimmy Fallon. Same with Jimmy Kimmel and everybody else. So let's see. Let's see what Donald Trump had to say about VP Harris on The View. I think the other one asking the question is dumber than Kamala. So that's like, she's a dummy. I watched her over the years. That is one dumb, that is one dumb woman. Sorry. I'm sorry, women. She's People in the replies were saying he really wanted to say some sort of slur right there after dumb, but he held himself back. What do you guys think? Let me play it one more time. Watch her over the years. That is one dumb, that is one dumb woman. He, he wanted to say something else. I don't know what he was going to say there. Dumb. That is one dumb woman. He was close. He was close. But that is Donald Trump. That is the state of his campaign. And it blows my mind that it's this close. If you guys agree, if you guys want to make sure we win, make sure you drop a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button. Have a great rest of your day and peace out.